Well, hello, everyone. It is so good to have you with us today. Um, we just want to welcome you to City View Christian Center. Obviously, this is an online service that you're watching, but um, we are meeting in person as well today. Uh, we're meeting at the park and just going to share in some time of worship. But uh, we wanted to produce this and, and, and put this up for you to be able to join in and just to be able to worship this morning, to be able to have some um, praise time and some and just some reflective time. Um, I don't know how your week's been. Mine's been busy. It's been all over the place, but it's there's just something so special about coming together, knowing that, you know, we're uniting our hearts and we're spending this time worshiping as a group, as a as a, a body of people who just believe in, in God and believe in Jesus and the great things that he's doing. And so I just encourage you today, wherever you're at, that you would just worship with us, that you would, you know, clap along if you want to clap, uh, dan- dance around, sing the songs. Um, the, the words and, and the things to the songs will be um, in the description below. And so if you want to pause it right now and bring up the songs on, uh, on your computer or on your phone um, so you can sing along with us, go ahead and do that. We just want to welcome you. And uh, it's such a blessing to have you with us today. And we're just excited to be together uh, here at City View. So we're going to start off with a little bit of time of worship and uh, just give God all the glory. Amen. Here we go. One, two, three, four. You're the only answer to the darkness And you're the only right among the wrong And you're the only hope among the chaos You are the voice that calls me on Louder than every lie My sword in every fight The truth will chase away the night. Your name is power on the darkness, freedom for the captives, mercy for the broken and the hopeless. Your name is faithful in the battle, glory in the struggle, mighty and will let us down, oh faithless. Your name is power. Your name is power. Cause I know it's written, hope is certain. Yeah, I know that the world will never fail. And I know that in every situation, yes, I know you speak the power to prevail. Is louder than every lie, my sword in every fight, the truth will chase away the night. Your name is power over darkness, freedom for the captives, mercy for the broken and the hopeless. Cause your name is faithful in the battle, glory. In the struggle, mighty, it will let us down or fail us. Your name is power. Your name is power. Because when you speak, you scatter darkness. Light arrives and heaven opens. Holy Spirit. Let us hear it. When you speak, the church awakens. We believe the change is coming. Holy Spirit, let us see it. Cause when you speak, you scatter darkness. Light arrives in heaven, opens. Holy Spirit, and let us hear it. When you speak, the church awakens. We Let us see it. Your name is power over darkness, freedom for the captives, mercy for the broken and the hopeless. Your name is faithful in the battle, glory in the struggle. Mighty, it will let us down or fail us. 
Your name is power. Cause your name is power. Your name is power. Your name is power. Your name is power. Amen. His name is power. What a wonderful thing we can sing about today. You know, it is such a blessing that we can be able to live in a country that allows us to praise and worship in a, in a, in a time, in an age where we have technology that we can be able to share this kind of thing on the internet. And more than ever, we need to be reminded that we are united in Christ and that it, the reason we can sing about the wonderful name of Jesus is because of the grace of God. And this next song just sings about that amazing, glorious grace. Oh, I'm covered 
covered by your grace oh i'm covered in your love lord I'm covered by your grace. Oh, 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 so good amen and especially right now we need to be reminded of all the good things he's done in our lives all the good things we know he can still do all the things he's gonna do in the future this next song has just become so important right now it's such an important message to remember that God is Waymaker. He's the miracle worker. He keeps his promises. He's our light in the darkness. Amen. And right now, maybe circumstances for you or circumstances for someone you know, they might be pretty dark. But God keeps his promises that we are victorious. that Jesus is the name above all names, the name above COVID, the name above poverty, the name above debt, the name above lack, the name above every sickness, every disease, everything we're facing today is the name above it all. So you might know this one, you might not, that's okay. I just encourage you to worship with me today. And just recognize God's that He's a way maker in this situation. Amen. Amen.
turning lives around I worship you I worship you You are here Turning lives around I worship you And I worship you That's why we call him Waymaker, miracle worker Promise keeper, light in the darkness My God, that is who you are Waymaker, miracle worker Promise keeper, light in the darkness My God, that is who you are Come on, just to sing that That is who you are That is who you are that is who you are. That is who you are. Come on, sing it. Who he is. That is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. Who you are. It is who you are. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We make a miracle work, promise keep a light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Even when I don't see it, you work. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I can see it, you're working. Even when I can feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it. You working, never stop, never stop working, never stop, never stop working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Oh, you never stop working for me. All things for my good. You never stop working for me. Never stop working. You're the way maker. That is who you are. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. 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 That's who you are. That is who you are. That's who he is, amen. Just sing that first verse again. You are here, moving in our midst. I work. 
worship you. I worship you. You are here. You're working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity to worship. That you're the way maker. Lord, I thank you that we can give praise to a God who's not dead, but is alive and well and wants the best for us. And Lord, we know that we live in a fallen world. We live in a world where, left to our own devices, we make mistakes. We live in a world where there is sickness. We live in a world where there is defeat and there's poverty and there's depression. And that's because of the enemy. Because while the enemy may operate down here, you operate up there. You are the victor in the spiritual realm. And that realm is more powerful than any physical realm we could ever entertain. And so sometimes we might see things in front of us that discourage us or scare us or cause us to worry. But I just ask that, Lord, you would stir up in our hearts and remind us that you're there every day, that you are the way maker and there's no need to be afraid. For if my God is for me, who dare stand against me? My God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. And so, Lord, today we just lift up our nation. We lift up Canada. We lift up our friends down in the States, the United States, Lord. We lift up all the countries of this world, Lord, and specifically those who are in leadership. Lord, we just pray for them that they would have just divine knowledge divine wisdom that they can't even explain why they're making the decisions they're making, Lord, but they're because of you. Lord, we pray for our leaders in our provinces, our states, in our cities. We ask that you would just guide them, that you would work all things together for your good, and that we would come out victorious. Lord, we just speak healing and health to anyone who's going through illness today. All those folks in different places of the world, in our country, province who might be struggling with this current virus that's out there or maybe something else, Father God. It doesn't really matter what it is, Lord, you're over it. You've overcome it. And so, Lord, we just lift that up as well. Father, thank you so much for this time of worship. I just ask that you would anoint the rest of our service today. Bless Pastor Keith as he shares. And Lord, just remind us that worship is such a powerful weapon against the enemy. God is good all the time and we get the chance to sing about that when we praise and we worship Lord thank you for this wonderful day just bless us all open our hearts and just touch us today help us to learn something new and just give us your glory for the rest of our day the rest of our week the rest of our lives Amen thank you so much for worshiping with us today we just want to welcome Pastor Keith He's going to be sharing with us about the real importance of praise and worship. Thank you so much. Well, welcome, everyone. Thank you again for tuning in this week and uh, for watching our online service. We started a series last week, and uh, it was on the overcomer strategy. We all face things in life. We're facing uh, wars, <laughs> confrontations, things. It's a battle. Life is a battle at, at, at the best of times. And... Uh, we, last week, we started with the first two items on our um, series, in our series for Overcomer Strategy. These are things, these are the weapons that we can use. But let me just review what we said last week. We said, first of all, you need to acknowledge that you're in a battle. If you don't think you're in a battle, well, pff, no problem. You don't need any weapons. And uh, the second thing is you need to identify who the real enemy is in your life and in the situation. Whatever it is that's coming against you, whatever it is that's stealing from you, that's your enemy. 
And uh, it could be Satan, it could be circumstances, it could be any kind of things like that that are just taking away from you being in a position of victory in your life. And then we said that you need to establish your position. Now, when you're establishing your position, in uh, 2 Corinthians 10, this was the verse that we said, for though we live in the world, now last week, just for those of you who didn't, didn't watch or did watch, last week I quoted it from King James because I had it memorized from there. So this week I pulled it from the New International just to give us a little twist. So the, it says this, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verses 3 and 4 says this, For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. We do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight are not the weapons of the world. In other words, they're not natural things. It's not a natural battle that we're fighting. It's not a natural war. And so we don't use natural weapons. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish, demolish strongholds. Demolish strongholds. When something is demolished, like it is destroyed. It is taken away from our lives. So that's what we're talking about. Demolishing the strongholds in our lives. And today, our weapon that we're going to talk about is the weapon of praise. Now, the, honestly, this is one of the easiest ones for me because um, I, I love for throughout my lifetime, I, I've spent a lot of time uh, in music and a lot of times doing things in, that are musical in my life, but I spent the most time in the area of praise and worship. And praise and worship is a weapon. It is a weapon that we can use to break through in our lives and to just take us to the next level. Now, let's just back up for a second. The, the word praise, by definition, is commend or glorify or worship or bless or exalt or magnify. And when I think of praise, I can't help but think of the greatness of God. And this week, uh, Pastor Gene and I had the opportunity to spend some time in the outdoors. That's why I'm here and um, recording right now uh, in a natural type setting. Uh, sure, there's other people and there's things around, but you know what? When I think of the mountains and the rivers and nature, like it just points to the greatness of God in my life. God is so awesome. And, and to be able to stop and praise Him and to give Him thanks for those things in our lives, that is what is exciting. Now, we all know some examples of uh, praise put to music. Okay, here's some examples, some practical examples. One example is our national anthem, O Canada. We stand on guard for the, it's a, it really is a praise about our nation. And it's, we're saying we, we trust God for protection for our country, Canada. Another one that we used to sing lots was God save the queen. God save the queen. Hello. Yes, we were, we were declaring, we were making a declaration every time we sang that song. We were, we were saying, thank you, God, for the queen. And we claim protection for her. Another one that I grew up with was the doxology. And uh, we used to sing it every Sunday in the church that I grew up. And it started off like this. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God. Praise God. That's what we need to do. We need to recognize that it is God who brings blessings in our life. Some other songs that we sing, Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace over and over and over. More people know that song and sing that song than probably any other, any other hymn or Christian song at all as Amazing Grace. Everybody seems to know it. Some of the others that we sing, How Great Is Our God? Uh, you know, how great. We just are in awe of the goodness and the greatness of our God. Uh, we used to sing, How Great Thou Art, so often. And the, the beautiful thing about songs like this is that they're not just, they don't just have a good message. They are songs that allow us to enter into God's presence and to be able to lift up our voices and actually say, God, you are great. And we worship you for your greatness in our lives. One of my favorites down through the years was a song that we used to sing, Majesty. Worship his majesty. God is a majestic God. He created the earth. He created the outdoors. He created the wilderness. He created just everything. He is a majestic, amazing, amazing God. And here's a couple songs that are current ones that you might have heard on the radio or, or sometimes we sing them. Uh, one song I, we heard the other day, I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. When I am in a battle, I lift up my voice. I praise God. 
I worship him, right? And then the one song that's been so prevalent throughout this whole COVID thing is the Waymaker song, Promise Keeper, a miracle worker, a light in the darkness. We're all faced with darkness in our lives, but you know what? God is that light. And here's the thing that praise takes us out of the natural and into a supernatural realm. Now, an example that we see of this in the Bible was in Acts chapter 16, and it's Paul and Silas. And you've probably heard the story, but they were in jail. And here's what happened. Here, I'll, I'll read the story. Acts chapter 16, verse 25, Paul and Silas undaunted prayed in the middle of the night and sang songs of praise to God while all the other prisoners listened to their worship. They were exalting God. They were praising God. They were honoring God and magnifying Him. And here's what happened in verse 26. So it's Acts chapter 16 and verse 25. And then 26 says, As Suddenly a great earthquake shook the foundations of the prison. And all at once every prison door flung open wide. And the chains of all the prisoners came loose. Wow. What an amazing thing happened. Why did that happen? It happened because Paul and Silas were glorifying God. They were worshiping God. They were giving Him praise. And even though they were in jail, you might feel like you're in jail today too. Maybe your, your situation feels like that kind of bondage in your life. Maybe you feel like you're in, in a, a spiritual prison or, or some kind of financial prison or something that just seems impossible. You know what? Praise unlocks the prison doors and it'll unlock the prison doors in your life too. Amen? And praise isn't necessarily singing. It can be just declaring the goodness of God. It can be praying. When you're praying and, and, and saying things, that are declaring and lifting up the greatness of God, those are the, the also things that are praise to God, right? Proclaiming testimonies, even just giving a testimony of something that God's done in your life, that is a praise too. It could be shouting. It could even be clapping. We see that in the Old Testament. There were examples where the clapping was their praise to God, lifting up their praise. I think of the story of Jehoshaphat. This is a great one in uh, 2 Chronicles 20. And uh, I won't read the whole thing. You can look it up for yourselves. But in 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 20, in verse six, 15, sorry, verse 15, it says this, This is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast, vast army. For the battle is not yours, but God's. That's the word to you today. If you find yourself in a battle, if you are in a war, if you are in a situation that seems impossible, guess what? The battle is not yours, but God's. You need to praise God. You need to put your trust in God. You need to put your worship on Him. And then we see later in that same passage, 2 Chronicles 20, in verse 20, it says this, As they set out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Listen to me, Judah and people of Jerusalem. Have faith in the Lord your God, and you will be upheld. Have faith in His prophets, and you will be successful. Wow, there's a thing. Just trust God. Trust God's word for you and for your life and for your situation. And then verse 21, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness as they went out at the head of the army saying, Give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. His love endures forever. Verse 22, as they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah and they were defeated. And here's the key. At the very minute that they started to sing and praise, the battle was turned. That's the word for you today too. As you sing and praise, God will turn that battle in your life. Praising God is an act of faith, and it in the face of the battle, it is one of the most powerful weapons that God has given us. Now, I can think of stories, and I won't tell lots of stories, but I know there are situations where Pastor Gene and I have been in situations, and they seemed like impossible situations, and yet we praised God. I remember us joining hands and just saying, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, for your breakthrough. We thank you. I remember situations where, you know, we were waiting on huge receivables in our business, and we just... Uh, stood in the kitchen and just said, we praise you, God. We praise you for your provision. We praise you to turn this situation. And guess what? Either the phone would ring or I'd go to the mailbox or somebody would say, okay, we've issued payment for your invoices. You know what? God is at work 
And it, the battle is the Lord's, right? And the victory is ours. That's where that expression comes from. When we put our trust in God and when we're in situations, no matter what it is, we can trust God. Now, King David, uh, who wrote most of the Psalms in the Bible, is known for two things. He was known as a warrior and he was known as a worshiper. You think that's an unlikely combination, but you know what? God, uh, God honored him by being a worshiper. Then when he went into battle, he knew to trust God. He knew to trust God for the battle, right? Psalms 22 and 3 says this in the New Living Translation, yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. God inhabits the praises of his people. It, it, when it says he's enthroned on the praises, I believe that God just comes in in a supernatural way when we are willing to praise him, when we're willing to lift up our voices in praise. And then Psalms 34, another one written by David, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue be in my mouth. My life makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble and afflicted hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought and inquired of the Lord and required him of necessity and on the authority of his word. And he heard me and he delivered me from all my fears. Maybe your battle today is just simply a battle of fear. Maybe the situation that you're in, you're just, you're losing hope. Maybe you are just f facing those fears, but you know what? Put your trust in God. Praise God. Use that weapon of praise to see the victory in your life. When you choose to praise God, it shifts your focus from your own situation and it shifts it to focusing on the one who can actually change your situation. It builds your faith to trust in, in the God of the impossible and to turn every impossible situation in your life into possibilities. Turn the impossible into a possible. That's what we want. The more you praise, the more of God's presence fills your life and the less room there is for fear and doubt and unbelief. Amen. So what are you facing today? Here's my word of encouragement to you. Try praising God. Use that weapon of praise in your circumstance to get through. Try rejoicing in the God of the breakthrough. Focus on Him. Focus on that wonderful, awesome God that we sing about, that we talk about, that we praise, and, and just sing to God. And even if you know how to, just try singing in the Spirit. You know, it's just the most beautiful thing just to, you know, just to be able to sing, I praise you, Lord, hallelujah, Lord, you are awesome, God. Just sing, sing to him. Just let it come out of your heart and just worship the God who has the breakthrough for you. The weapon of praise takes you into the supernatural realm of God's presence where victory and overcoming is common instead of the exception. We need to be, as believers, we need to be walking in a place of God's supernatural presence in our lives. And one of the greatest ways that we can do that is just to praise Him. I want to pray for you today and just in closing. And you know what? I don't know what you're facing in your life, but God knows. And you know what? He's there with you. I'm, I'm out here. I'm out in the wilderness today. I'm kind of, you know, by a pond and, and as, you know, just it's actually starting to rain. But you know what? doesn't matter. God's there with you right now. And so I want to just, as I close today, I want to just close in prayer. Father, we thank you and praise you for the weapons that you've given us, Lord. I pray for every person that's watching, every person that's tuned in online, Father, and every person of our congregation, Lord, I pray blessing on them. Father, teach us how to worship you and how to praise you and how to honor you and lift up your, just your goodness and greatness in our lives, Lord. We are believing just like Jehoshaphat for a supernatural miracle to take place. And whatever it is, I want to pray for the people today, Father, that you will just move and work in their circumstance. Come in powerfully as they stop to praise you and to worship you and to give you honor in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in. I'll let the guys close off. Praise God. Praise Him. I challenge you this week. Spend time praising the God of the breakthrough in your life. Amen. Well, thank you so much, Pastor Keith, for sharing with us today. It is so good to have you do with us. Um, obviously, 
we did have our regular service outside with uh, our church in the park, but we hope that you enjoyed the worship and you enjoyed the encouragement from Pastor Keith. We hope that you remember that the wor uh, praise and worship is such a powerful weapon, and we hope that you engage in doing that on a daily basis. Again, the songs, if you wanted to go through them again, they're in the description below, and you can always look them up. We just want to remind you as well that we at City View do believe in tithes and, and giving towards the, the ministry of God. And so if that's something that you feel is something you want to contribute towards, if it's something that's on your heart, we have various ways of giving and they are in the description below. Um, you can always visit our website and there's an opportunity to donate online there as well, especially if you're someone who's maybe out of town and we don't get a chance to see you. But there are other ways as well. So we just want to encourage you, if that's something that's on your heart, you want to support the ministry of City View Christian Center and you want to help us to try to spread the word more, um, we do need finances to do that. And so we just are thankful for those of you who are constant givers, those of you who do want to give. We just appreciate that so much. We would, again, hope that you have a wonderful week. We hope that you enjoy some sun. Uh, we're here in Alberta and Edmonton, and it looks like we're going to have some sun the next couple of days. So enjoy it and give God praise and go out there and just be a light to those around you. And just remember uh, that we want here at City View to help you discover real love and live with purpose.